This is the Snowhead Temple, a dungeon in Majora's Mask that is guarded by a giant Goron, blowing wind that blows players off the main path. The intended strategy to enter this dungeon is to acquire and play the Goron's lullaby to put the giant Goron to sleep. However, this requires the Lens of Truth, the Goron Mask, the Lullaby Intro, and of course, the Goron's Lullaby. In a Majora's Mask any percent no major glitches speedrun, a speedrun that bans stale reference manipulation and text overflow, skipping this sequence and entering the dungeon early is a massive time save, as well as a staple of Majora's Mask speedruns. In speedruns today, runners will typically perform a notoriously difficult method known as the Snowhead Hess, a trick you are no doubt familiar with if you have ever watched a Majora's Mask speedrun. But how does this even work? And how did we get here? Don't forget to subscribe and let's take a look at the most notorious glitch in Zelda speedrunning. To start, we have to go all the way back to the beginning, which unfortunately is a bit unclear. The earliest example of Lullaby Skip that I could find is in a portion of a tool-assisted speedrun created by Swordless Link in August of 2008. This method of Lullaby Skip uses a quirk of the infinite sword glitch on the English version of the game. By interrupting a crouch stab, Link's sword hitbox does not get deactivated. A side effect of this is that Link cannot be pushed off edges. Swordless Link was able to make it all the way inside the loading zone of the Snowhead Temple without the Goron's Lullaby. At the time, this method of Lullaby Skip was considered to not be viable in RTA speedruns due to the immense difficulty of performing this from the Owl Statue. So, at the time, RTA and segmented speedruns chose to just get the Goron's Lullaby. This all changed at the end of 2008 and into 2009 with a discovery by ZFG, Petrie, and Mr. Grunt. This is known as the alternate exit, and in Majora's Mask, some interior areas, such as fairy fountains and grottos, share an interior map. This means that with the use of bomb hovering, you can actually travel between fairy fountains or grottos. This includes the fairy fountain for Snowhead, which coincidentally is much closer to the entrance of the dungeon and already up the big ramp that the previous method had to super slide up. By performing an alternate exit to the Snowhead fairy fountain, runners of the time could simply exit the fairy fountain, get ISG, and perform the second half of the climb into the dungeon. This, from what I could find, was the first method of Lullaby Skip to be formed in an RTA, non-segmented speedrun. Lots of this era of Majora's Mask speedruns no longer have video footage, but the first RTA speedrun that implements Lullaby Skip with footage that I could find is the 153-33% world record by Giano back in August of 2010. This method of Lullaby Skip would last for many years to come, and wouldn't see any major shifts until the end of 2017. Due to some discoveries of a few English exclusive glitches, such as Song of Double Time Cutscene Skips, it became faster to play on the NTSC English version of the game. As I said earlier, one exclusive quirk of Lullaby Skip on English is that Link will not get stuck to ledges around the dungeon, meaning that we cannot stall out the wind by spamming sword slashes. Additionally, another quirk of the English version is that by voiding out anywhere at all around Snowhead Temple, you will be placed all the way back at the entrance by the Owl. The Japanese version, on the other hand, will simply place you back at your last entrance. This makes performing Lullaby Skip from the Fairy Fountain much more difficult on the English version, requiring you to exit the Fairy Fountain and immediately get ISG off of a bomb quickly and on the first try. This route, known as the Old English route, would be very short-lived. In 2018, NOP 112 would be the first runner to utilize a much faster and much more modern version of Lullaby Skip, the Snowhead Hess, in a world record. By using English's ledge properties, speedrunners realized that they could perform a hyper-extended super slide with ISG all the way up from the Owl statue, skipping the use of the Fairy Fountain alternate exit and bringing the trick in a full circle back to its original implementation. This version of Lullaby Skip was quickly regarded as one of the most difficult glitches in Majora's Mask, requiring navigating RNG wind and dodging falling boulders, all without dropping the ESS position, a precise control stick position slightly outside of the control stick dead zone. Dropping this position will cause you to stop the hyperextended super slide, and depending on where in the trick you are, will make you unable to back it up. At first, runners would choose to stop their Hess once they start making it up the second ramp, but it wouldn't take long for runners to be able to carry just one Hess from the Owl all the way into the dungeon. To this day, this is still the fastest way to perform the Lullaby Skip in the Majora's Mask No Major Glitches Any% percent speedrun. However, that doesn't mean that our story stops here. Lullaby Skip recently has had an even newer, albeit slower method discovered using remote hookshot hovering, creating a beginner-friendly and easy alternative to the Snowhead Hess. This allows for even beginner routes to share the overall route structure as our fastest route. 
Lullaby Skip has a purpose in categories outside of No Major Glitches as well, with faster strats discovered for categories still running on the Japanese version, such as All Dungeons Restricted and All Masks. With the use of the Goron Mask and All Masks, it was discovered that you can Goron roll to the second slope, which is vastly faster than the earlier strategy involving supersliding with ISG around the dungeon into the ramp. The creation of All Dungeons Restricted opened up the viability of once again revisiting this original method of Lullaby Skip for the first time in years. This is where the speedrunner and stratfinder the Human Protractor discovered a fast way to hover all the way up to the dungeon's entrance. This version was much more difficult than the original strategy, relying on timing hovers in a way that you would not be blown away by the wind mid-hover. Lullaby Skip even extends all the way to glitchless any percent, which as you can imagine, was not without controversy. Originally, glitchless runners would Goron roll up the first ramp, where they would then chain sword slashes to stop the wind from pushing them over the edge. Ragan would be the first person to implement this into a glitchless world record. However, if you were to check the boards right now, you would notice that this run is nowhere to be found. This is because after this version of Lullaby Skip was implemented, it was discovered that using sword slashes to prevent Link from falling off the ledge was actually a form of hovering, which is banned under the glitchless rule set. This meant that this method of lullaby skip was banned, and runs using the trick were disqualified and removed from the leaderboards. However, that did not stop glitchless runners from finding a way to perform this trick within the rule sets of the category. We already just used the Goron Mask to roll all the way up the first ramp, so what if we could Goron roll all the way up the second ramp too? If this was possible, then glitchless runners could completely skip the Goron Lullaby within the rules of the glitchless category. And in April of 2021, the glitch hunter Kita proved just that, getting all the way into the dungeon with nothing but the Goron Mask. This version of Lullaby Skip is so unbelievably difficult that even the current glitchless world record chooses not to do it. But it's only a matter of time before someone is crazy enough to pull it off in a run. Lullaby Skip has had other advancements that didn't quite make it into this video or mainstream RTA speedruns, such as the Japanese Snowhead Hass, a currently TAS only version of the Snowhead Hass that avoids the Snowhead ledges in order to take advantage of the time save from performing Lullaby Skip from the Owl, that has not found the right use case quite yet. I believe that there's not quite room for this trick to advance much more in the future, but in a game like Majora's Mask, it's really hard to say. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in videos on Zelda glitches and speedruns, consider clicking on one of the videos on screen now. And if you're interested in checking out some speedruns live, check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description.